Hi everyone, it's Kate and I'm back with another scrapbook process video for you. Um, this week I am using the October 2020 Hip Kits and I'm participating in a weekly challenge on the Hip Kit Facebook page, um, which we have to be um, inspired by the mood board, which I put in at the start of the video. That's an absolutely gorgeous mood board for November um, with gorgeous, gorgeous colours in it. Um, we also had two additional design prompts to use and, and work with, um, which for this week was cardstock and stickers. Um, so I'm going to keep those in mind when making this layout. Um, I was most inspired, there's a picture of um, a gorgeous autumn wreath in the mood board. So that was my inspiration for this page. Um, so you can see that I've used a cut file there that we got um, in the October cut files with a wreath. I've cut that out twice in two different colours of cardstock. And I'm going to do some mixed media on the background to sort of poke through that. Um, there was a lovely lady that, that left a really nice comment on my Facebook page recently um, saying that she loved my videos, which I appreciate that comment so much given that I'm so new to this and still feel like I have no idea what I'm doing with recording these videos. Um, so that, if you're watching, that comment was um, much appreciated. She asked me just to slow down this section of my videos so that she could actually see what I was doing with the mixed media. Um, so that's really good feedback to get. So I've, um, I've slowed down this section to what I normally do. Um, so I'll let you watch this. I'm using um, the the main pieces that I'm using are there's two um, watercolour shimmers from Lindy's that are included in the October colour kit. Um, and that's the, the orange colour and the red colour that you can see there. Um, the colour names I think is Autumn Maple and Red Hot Poker, which is the, the red one. Um, I'm also using that blue, um, which is from one of the older colour kits. And that one's called um, Jana's Jade. So I'm just following my normal process there of just, just layering them up. Um, I dry in between with my heat tool so that the colours don't merge together. And then I just keep adding um, and keep going until I get something that I'm happy with. Okay, so I'm happy um, with the mixed media work that I've done there and I've laid it up to, to where I'm happy with it. So I've just set to that um, to the side to dry. And now what I'm just going to do is take the two, the two cut files that I cut out in, in um, quite contrasting colours. I just want to give um, some extra dimension to those so that they actually stick up in the background and actually um, you, you can really see the dimension on the layout. Um, so that um, yellow square is just a piece of foam and then I've just got an embossing tool and what I'm doing is I'm just rubbing that against each leaf which believe it or not was quite the task and your hand kills afterwards um, but it's worth the effort um, because it really it really does look nice on the end layout um, so I just take some time to do that to both pieces. Okay, so while my background is still drying, um, what I like to do is just pick the pieces that I've got for my background and piece them together um, on the cutting mat first, just so as I can get an idea of what I like as a placement before I put everything um, down on the background. Um, so I'm just using a cute picture of my son there um, from a pumpkin field that we went to um, recently for Halloween. Um, I've just backed that using the craft coloured cardstock um, that came in the cardstock kit as well. 
Um, and seeing as though one of the design prompts for this layout is stickers, um, the first thing I'll sort of pull, pull out is there's a six page sticker book. Um, I'm sure it's in the embellishment kit. Um, it's by Jen Hadfield and it's the, the Avenue collection. Um, so there's six pages of really nice stickers in there. Um, so I've just pulled out a few um, to layer around the photo. Um, the florals in particular are really, really pretty and they just really make this, this wreath look really nice. Once I've finished adding in the stickers, I'm just going to have a look through the other um, embellishments in the pack um, and just go through them and pick out some more um, pieces to accent and sort of fit round this wreath, um, which I think looks really nice. Um, while I've got you guys as well, it'd be good to see if you think the um, the quality of my videos has improved. I bought um, another light for the top of my desk because I don't know about where, where you guys are at the moment, but the, the lighting is absolutely terrible at all times. So I hope that you can see a difference with that. Um, so, yeah, like I said, I've, that um, fox is from one of the, the cardstock um, sticker embellishments as well, which he's really cute. I wanted to fit him um, in somewhere, whether it went with the layout or not. I was also determined to use that that heart, uh, that acrylic heart on that paper clip as well, which is by um, Amy Tangerine. Um, I've gone with the title, um, a big uh, puffy title that says Blessed. Um, that is um, by Simple Stories and it's the Cozy Days collection which is also a gorgeous collection. Um, there are too many gorgeous collections at the moment. Um, so I'm just having a look through to see what else um, I can sort of add. I think I decided to add another point of interest because um, I just felt like it was all sort of pointing to the, the right hand side, the right bottom corner. Um, so I'm just going to add another little section at the top left corner there just to, to give that, that triangle that's sort of pleasing to the eye. Um, have a play around with that. I add my journaling um, again in a few minutes um, and lots of people ask me what pen I use for the journaling. It's a Unipin uh, fine liner pen in 0.4. Um, then I think I add a date stamp and I think that is pretty much it. Um, so I will leave you with some music for the rest of the video. Um, once again, guys, thanks ever so much for watching. I really, really appreciate all the support on this channel, um, given that I was so nervous to start a YouTube channel as well. Um, it's really nice of you guys to support me by watching and subscribing to my channel. And I will see you guys soon. Thanks very much. Bye.